Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Mumbai Car Boy. This is my first vlog where I'm going to talk against the Interceptor 650. Yes, this is because um, I have got a lot of queries. Uh, you know, people have PM me and ask me what are the drawbacks of the Interceptor. So this video is going to be, as you read in the description, is going to be 10 drawbacks that I feel are a small drawback of the Interceptor 650, not a major major fall for the bike. But let's take you through uh, the 10 uh, one by one. So let's go ahead and start with the first one, the most important one which I'm sitting on is the seat. So yes, uh, the seat is basically when you get it with the Royal Enfield, it's a very soft foam. This is a seat that I have modified actually and you will get to see a vlog right here. I will put a link right here. So this is a seat that I had to do because the initial 70 kilometers was very, very difficult on the stock seat. So the first drawback is the seat. You would need to definitely change it in case you want to actually do touring or you want to do long rides. The important element of the bike is now the headlight. So let's go ahead and talk about the headlight. So yes, the headlight, what I would say is for a premium superbike category, they should have given it with an LED unit. The halogen bulb does not have a good throw. It could also be due to the oval shaped glass of the unit. Hence, the latest bikes are now coming with flattened front glass, which is uh, loved to be have a better throw. The solution to this could be either the bulb uh, to be changed to an LED or the way I, I did or change the entire unit. So I would say is basically uh, getting that change is the biggest uh, process. As you can see, I've got uh, fog lights as well to actually complement uh, the vision in the night. So I've got uh, the uh, fog lamps for uh, the fog that's yellow and white as well. And of course, installing the white LED has actually gone ahead and created a difference than the stock bulb. So right now what we are going to cover up is basically the pillion uh, foot pegs uh, position. So what you can see right here is this is the foot pegs that we are talking about. So this could be at least a little more front. So you have HDT, HDT motors and SS motors who have actually gone ahead and done that. So what happens is when the pillion sits, the knee is uh, bent like this. So exactly that is causing pain. Uh, so I would say the rear uh, uh, foot pegs should have been placed right here at least. So yes, these are available mods. The aftermarket mods are available at uh, SS Motors and at uh, HDT Customs. Go check them out. This is also one of the drawbacks. The third drawback for you on the Twin 650. So the other and the main drawback for a rider, that was the pillion that we spoke about earlier. For the rider is also the foot peg placement. So you can see right now the foot peg placement is more of a sporty kind of a feel but you ag again you also have uh, HDT custom and SS motors who have actually gone ahead and you know put the foot pegs in front for the people who want the foot pegs right here so there are aftermarket mods available but this is for me it's a very uh, nice mod I'm, I'm saying this for me it's not actually a drawback because I'm actually happy with how the uh, foot peg position is because it's got a more kind of a sporty feel to it. So the other main drawback is of course the mirrors where you can see me right now. These are the retro uh, look mirrors of course I love the retro look that's why I have not changed uh, the default mirrors. But as you can see I have also put on the spot on mirrors. These are the mirrors that enable me to actually move and get more uh, view of the external road. Because the stock mirrors have only internal view and the depth of the view is very less. So I would say yes this is one most necessary mod that you would actually need. Uh, in case you are willing to change the retro look of the bike, you can go ahead and change it. But I wanted to keep the retro look, that's the reason I've let the mirrors remain and I've only installed the spot on mirrors, which also you can do. So the only reason I would say they would need a better uh, compound tires or you know get it to uh, being completely tubeless, giving proper alloys uh, is only because you might have seen on my first day, first ride I had a puncture and getting the rear wheel out is a real nightmare you would all agree all are the interceptor owners would all agree that getting this tire is the rear tire is actually uh, not feasible so let's go ahead and talk about the instrument cluster right now of course they have uh, the bare minimum info uh, could have a clock and gear indication that this is what i'm missing on the uh, instrumental cluster but of course they have ma maintained the retro look we have the uh, trip A, trip B, the actual uh, RPM, the kilometers, the ABS sensor, the fuel gauge, the oil gauge, the battery. This is basically what is required in the bike. But the ones that I would say if in case they had a gear uh, indication and the clock, uh, I would say with a premium bike, that is what I would expect or any customer would expect. 
So yes, the most uh, loved or the most uh, important drawback that the bike has is the silencers. Of course, the silencers are basically uh, overall size and the weight could be looked into, which is around four to five kgs. Once you install an aftermarket exhaust, you will feel a drastic change and the overall weight of the bike actually reduces. Notes of the stock has a characteristics of the firing order, which makes it sounds great, no doubt. But it should have been more bassy feel to it. So yes, what we uh, the other mod that you require is of course uh, you need handlebar risers because on the stock as it's a sporty look, uh, it is a li little bit in the fall in uh, leaned down. So if you want a comfortable ride like as you see right now, I have a straight posture and you know my shoulders are also straight. Uh, you would need these risers. These are risers by SS Motors. They are aluminium. Uh, I will leave you a link uh, for uh, Sauro Bai in the description. So this is also a very very necessary mod that you would need. I would think if uh, the interceptor had actually come up with these uh, stock risers, or you know if they had to bring the level of uh, the handlebar at this, everyone would be comfortable because for long rides you need it to be comfortable and you need it at that height. So let's now go ahead and talk about the front suspension. Yes, everyone has realized that the front suspension for the Interceptor compared to its weight is relatively very very soft and that's the reason you have the bottoming out that happens quite quite often. USD Fox would be the best options for the front whereas the rear suspension you can still adjust it to your preference and the best setting to keep it on is the third groove so it's more firm when it encounters pothole. As you see right now, I have already installed the preload adjusters which have at least 20 mm of play that you can actually do it and they have actually worked very well for me. So that was basically the 10 drawbacks uh, from my point of view. Of course, these are not major drawbacks that I didn't like the bike. Of course, I'm still in love with Laila but this was as per your uh, uh, reviews, you wanted me to exactly tell you what are the little nicks and knacks of the bike. That's basically what I've done. Of course, this comes in an affordable price for uh, compared for a 650 parallel twin. This is a very affordable price. With this bike, of course, you feel the uh, vibration reduced to a maximum uh, than the stock classic or the standard Royal Enfield bikes. The vibration on this 650 is reduced comparatively very much. This bike also comes with a very good torque and good power definitely. The handling is very very good and of course it's very controllable. People think it's uh, not that controllable. Yes, it's got its weight but of course the design, the specs and the clean old school look is the best. So hey guys, that was the basic 10 uh, drawbacks or the 10 uh, small issues that are actually uh, doable with the Interceptor 650. This is Mumbai Car Boy saying thank you so much. See you on my next vlog. If there's any uh, comments, please leave it down in the comment box and hit that bell icon, hit the notification key to get notified for all my future vlogs. See you on the next video.